Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I really just wanted to do something super chill. I didn't want to wear makeup, so I decided to film this video. My skin is kind of going through it, and I don't want to irritate it, so I'm here with a pimple patch. This is one by Cosrx I really love, and then I also have a zit sticker because this was a pimple, but it's starting to heal. Like, it already flattened out. There's no more pus or anything gross in there. So I'm trying out these zit stickers to try to avoid scarring. These are the ones that are called um, to fade scars basically. I can't remember what it's called exactly but I'll have it linked below. We're trying that little baby out and I've heard really good things so I have high hopes. Anyways, I was cleaning out, starting to declutter my makeup. I feel like I really had to go through that again. Decluttering my skincare cabinet. I really want to do a little spring cleaning even though we are very much in fall. But in the midst of decluttering, I found this bag that I had stored away in my closet. I believe I started this in 2019 and I just kind of forgot about it to be honest. So there's definitely products that I hadn't included in here. And especially when I went to Guadalajara, I finished a few products there. I actually did go over them on Instagram. So I will create a little highlight if you're curious about those products that I finished because those are the ones that I actually more recently finished. So I'll I'll leave a little link to the highlight in the description box if you want to check those out as well. Some really great products, honestly, so feel free. And I feel like I definitely threw some out without really like thinking about it because that's kind of like my automatic thing to do when you finish a product, right? Just throw it in the recycle or the trash. So we, we might have missed a few products for sure. I was like looking through this and I'm like, oh yeah, I feel like, like where's all my sunscreen empties? So... But for now, let's go ahead and jump into this entire bag of empties because just looking at the products, I feel like this is going to be lengthy. I'm going to be telling you if I would repurchase it. I'm going to tell you what I liked about it. I'm going to tell you if I didn't like it. I know usually if you finish something, you really like it, but there are some actually in here that I just emptied out to recycle it. The only time that I really do that is if it's irritating to my skin. So we're going to get into all of that product by product. I want to go over the things that I have the least amount of. Uh, which is fragrance and makeup. I feel like being a YouTuber, you know, collecting so much PR and stuff, it's really hard actually for me to go through makeup. It amazes me if I see other YouTubers or bloggers that go through makeup super quickly because I'm not using the same mascara every day. I'm not using the same foundation every day. Not a lot of empties there. But let's go ahead and talk about the ones that I have collected. So first, let's start with fragrance. Glossier You is one of my favorite, favorite, like top two fragrances. It's this and YSL Leave It In. Those ones I swear by, live by. I really love this. So many of my friends love this as well. Anytime I wear Glossier You, I always get complimented on. And it's one of those fragrances where you like can't even smell it on yourself anymore. Like it doesn't make you dizzy. It doesn't like sting your nose. It's very inoffensive, but it still is something that I constantly get complimented on and I'm like oh yeah I did spray this you know what I mean I of course would repurchase this I have so much I'm surprised that I only have one empty bottle right now so moving on to makeup I can't believe I only have two empties right here I, that's what I'm saying like I feel like I definitely like just unconsciously threw some out without thinking to put it in this bag Glossier boy brow this is clear I've gone through I feel like more than just one for sure by the way you guys I am still a Glossier rep so you can continue to get 10% off if you shop through the link. I just wanted to remind you in case you wanted to purchase the fragrance or you know anything Glossier related. This one was a staple but I haven't really been using boy brow anymore. I have found so many different eyebrow gels or eyebrow waxes that I have just been loving so much more than this. It's still like you know reliable and good. I feel like so many makeup brands have stepped up their eyebrow game because now it is in style. You know it is a trend. I feel like when Glossier came out with this, it was still a very fleeky Instagram eyebrow. I personally have always been into like a really brushed up, bushy, like feathery brow. But now I feel like that's kind of the socially accepted brow. Like that's the trend, right? So of course other makeup brands are going to take advantage and jump on that trend as well. And they have really shown Glossier Boy Brow up. So I'm working on an eyebrow video now. All of my favorite brow gels, brow waxes that really give you that feathery beefy brow so it's still a good product i still have this in my collection i feel like i'll always have it i'm like so partial to it but have i been using it as much as i had in the past no i have not so the other makeup empty i have here is the lancome Montier big mascara is something that i do go through pretty often but right now i have so many that i'm trying i really need to like 
concentrate on finishing one because once you open mascara, you guys know it can dry out pretty fast and you shouldn't really be keeping mascara too long. But I love this one. I have another one in my collection right now. It's so good when you just want both full and long lashes. I just feel like it plumps it up in the most beautiful way. I really stand out. Look at me lashes. I feel like that's from Maybelline or something, but you know what I'm talking about. It's like... The drama is there when I use this and I love it. So that is all for makeup. I know for a fact I went through other makeup products. Like just at the top of my head, I know I finished Glossier Pro Tip, which is like their liquid eyeliner. So good. Definitely recommend the brow... What is it called? Brow tip. It's very similar. I can't even think of the name right now. But it's like the brow marker from Glossier. Really love that one. I finished it and then I actually just ordered... The blonde. I wanted to see how blonde looked. I saw Hung Van Gogh use blonde on somebody that had dark eyebrows like myself. So I definitely want to see because I did have brown and it was a little bit too auburny, like almost too warm tone. So I'm excited to see the blonde. And let's go ahead and move into skincare. I'm gonna try to go in order of like how I use skincare. So let's start with cleansers. There's a few that I finished. I feel like I go through cleansers the fastest. So first up, let me get a little sip of coffee. This video is going to be long if you hadn't noticed, so grab me a little drink. I couldn't decide if I wanted iced coffee or hot coffee, so I kind of made both. And look at this mug. So cute. So the first cleanser here is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I absolutely love this one. It is so gentle. It's one of the cleansers that I do tend to recommend whenever somebody's like, but what's like a gentle cleanser that you like? I love this one. This was just like a little special edition packaging. So just ignore that. It's usually just like all white. Yeah, I would really recommend it. It's made with like cucumber. So it has this really natural little fresh refreshing scent like spa scent which I like and but it is fragrance free I always double cleanse when I have makeup on does this take off makeup just on its own if you weren't double cleansing I think it's too gentle for it to be honest you'll have to be like going in maybe twice to fully get everything off but you know, it's really good. I love this one. So the next cleanser that I have empty is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. This was always in my shower or on my, in my top shelf. I always had this in stock. I haven't repurchased it lately because I've just found other ones that I really like. But I think it's a really great gentle one. Again, like all of my cleansers are super gentle, super mild. I don't like to have my face feeling tight or itchy after I cleanse it. So... This is a really great one. The only thing that I will say about this is that you go through it so quickly. It's six fluid ounces, but I don't know. I feel like I use so much of it to really get a good cleanse that you really finish this super quickly. I would still really recommend it, but just note that you're going to be purchasing this a lot. Another cleanser that I finished is the Meeting Full Beauty one. This is by Cindy Crawford, and I loved this cleanser as well. I feel like both of these are definitely like a creamy consistency. This has like a little bit more of like a water gel base to it. Definitely a hybrid. And then this one is extremely milky. I would kind of compare it even if you've tried the CeraVe um, hydrating cleanser. It's like that, but I feel like this one is better than that one to be honest. I really loved it. I was sad when this finished because it was just so comforting on my skin and it just, I don't know, to me the CeraVe hydrating, just like the straight up hydrating one, it's too, it just never, it felt like a little film on my face. Like I feel like it wasn't doing much where this actually feel like the sunscreen and the makeup or the oil-based makeup remover that I use like actually coming off as well. So this does a really good job. I would recommend it. And then the other one that I really like is the Wash It Out Gel Cleanser by Verse. So the Verse Cleanser is probably the toughest out of the cleansers that I just spoke on, on oil and dirt and makeup. Like it actually, I feel like you can actually get rid of makeup with this. I don't know, it has a little more, because it is a gel cleanser, I feel like gel cleansers do a better job of like really getting rid of makeup and everything as opposed to just like a creamy milky formula. Either way, I still use a double cleanse. That way I'm not as like harsh and like really trying to rub my eyes and whatnot. This one, although it is a little bit tougher, I hate to use that word because I don't want you to think that it's like abrasive or like really stripping your skin because it doesn't strip your skin at all. It never leaves me feeling tight or dry. And I have combo skin. I should really start with that. So I have combination skin. There are areas that are dry and then I also have areas that produce more oil. So I feel like here 
on my t-zone i am a bit more oily on my cheeks they're more dry they're more sensitive as well very very sensitive especially i feel like this past year my skin has gotten more sensitive than it has ever been and i really want to do a video on this so stay tuned this one is just really great i feel like if you do have combo skin or if you have oily skin and i feel like those creamy milky consistencies are better for people with dry or sensitive skin so just be aware of what your skin needs for sure. So moving on, I also finished some makeup remover. So let's start with the Cleansing Spa Water by Cogendo. This is basically a micellar water and it's so pricey. I like popped into Violet Grey and this girl really sold me on it. She's like, it's the best one. It's way better than Bioderma, blah, 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 blah. I didn't really see a significant difference between the two. I actually feel like the Bioderma one is better. <laughs> I don't know if it's the price that is just like, it's. It's a lot. It did last me a lot longer than I thought it would. It comes with 12.85 fluid ounces, so you know, you do get quite a bit. I just, I don't know, I would rather just use the Bioderma one. That one's like my go-to always. I always end up going to that one or the Garnier one. Although it was fine and I, you know, I obviously finished it and it got rid of makeup, it performed as it should. It's just a little bit more expensive and it's not a significant difference in my opinion. And then the other makeup remover that I finished is another Glossier item. This is the Milky Oil Waterproof Makeup Remover. You shake it up and you can put it on a cotton pad and then just like press it on your eye makeup and then it'll remove it. I feel like it does a good job of removing everything, what I would mainly use it for because this is so tiny. I feel like if you're gonna do a makeup remover like this, like make it in this big or like at least, this is what, 3.4 fluid ounces, at least make it like eight. You know what I mean? I just feel like I went through this so fast, especially for stubborn eye makeup. So I feel like you do have to really saturate the cotton pad to get everything off. It does a really good job of removing everything, but the way that I ended up using it is more on like Q-tips. I really love like, you know, when you're cleaning up your cat eyes and it was non-irritating to my eyes. Like I hate when makeup remover is super irritating to my eyes. I never felt that with this, like no stinging or anything. So it is very gentle, but I just hate how little it is for the price and everything, you know? You just go through it so, so fast. I actually do have one in my cabinet right now that they had sent over, but I hardly reach for it, weirdly. It's not my favorite makeup remover. Only when I'm like cleaning up mistakes and stuff. I have found that to remove my makeup, I really love like a pharmacy green clean, or I really love this one by DHC. It's like an oil and I can just use that on my hand. I don't have to use a cotton pad so I don't feel as wasteful. And then I'm also not as like harsh because I feel like when I use a cotton pad or I've been trying to be a little bit more eco and I've received so many of those like reusable rounds, like cotton rounds. Whenever I use those, I feel like the little fabric is actually kind of abrasive. And, you know, I'm going here and my, like I said, my cheeks are so sensitive. So when I use them, I just feel like it's irritating. Like it's a little too rough for my skin. So I'd rather just use my hands and like a generous amount of one of those oils or cleansing balms and that's what really does it for me. So I would not repurchase either of these. Um, let's see, where should we move on to next? I'm like so overwhelmed with so much empties. Okay, let's move to like toners and mist and those kind of things, you know? So the first one that I have is this guy by Cosrx. This is the Centella Water Alcohol Free Toner. So I really like Centella Asiatica. It's an ingredient that you can find in a lot of Korean skincare. That's when I had first learned about it. So Cosrx is a Korean skincare brand. I love so many of their products and especially the price point is really nice. I had to pick this up because I was experiencing a lot of redness on my cheeks per usual and I saw really good reviews on this. I'm not really sure if it helped. It's actually, I already took off the little plastic thing but it was like a little mist so you would spray it something like this and I didn't really notice a big difference. I don't know, it's really hard to tell with mist I think, right? So. I wouldn't repurchase this only because I have other products with Centella that are found in like my moisturizers or in other serums that I already have. So the next mist that I finished is the Cora Energizing Citrus Mist. I would not buy this. It has mandarin and lemongrass essential oils for awakening your senses and revitalizing your skin. Even when I would use this sometimes, I would feel like a slight tingle, like my skin did not like it, but I loved using it to, I would always use it after yoga and I'm like, oh, it's just like waking me up. Like it really 
really does like citrus does such an amazing job to really like boost your mood and you feel awakened and everything so i would use it more as like an aromatherapy i'm like girl you know just use your diffuser put a few little citrus essential oil in there and smell it in that way because i do not need this on my face it took me so long to finish this as well and i feel like i started just using it like out and then just you know breathing it in but this made for the face i wouldn't recommend it did nothing for my skin it made it tingle and probably more sensitive than it already is moving on to another one that i didn't like and i feel like was very irritating to my skin this was one that i actually dumped out i think i got to maybe about I don't know a quarter of the way and I ended up dumping it out because I would always react to it in that like stinging way This was like a baby sting. This was like a hardcore sting. My skin did not like this at all And it's supposed to hydrate your skin. So this is called oh hi skin quench spray serum. This is in like the Scent, I don't know what you would call it refreshing chai. They have like three I believe three different scents or whatever So the ingredients in this just didn't agree with my skin. Like I said, it really left it stinking and irritated and almost hot you know what i mean i would always have that sensation one that i loved and this just reminded me that i do want to go out and purchase this again this is the josh rosebrook hydrating accelerated moisturizing facial mist this is the most hydrating facial mist i've ever tried i really like to use this to you know how they say to use um mist to like throughout the day if you want a refresher this actually makes me feel refreshed it doesn't just feel like water it actually feels hydrating there's so many good ingredients in this the first one is aloe jojoba marula seed oil vitamin e evening primrose, grapeseed oil, sea buckthorn oil, hemp seed oil, barrage seed oil, almond oil, sesame oil. The list is long and they're all delicious, yummy ingredients. At the very, very end, there are a few essential oils, rosemary leaf oil, eucalyptus leaf oil, bergamot leaf oil. So if you are super sensitive to essential oils, maybe this won't agree with your skin. But like I said, my cheeks do tend to be very sensitive and I never felt any stinging with this. This actually actually hydrated my skin and it just felt so nice i even would take this i remember when we were able to travel and whatever i would always take this with me on the plane because you know when you come off of that recycled air aircraft you are so dry you feel like freaking sponge i'm like i need water this would just replenish any plumpness and hydration back into my skin another one that i finished is the ledoux they don't even sell this anymore but i wanted to keep this actually to put like a little flower in there like recycle the bottle so cute so this is the ledoux aloe facial refresher mist they unfortunately don't have this one anymore but what they do have is one made with willow bark that i really like it's called let me just get it really quick. So this is the guy that is available right now. The White Willow Rose Dewy Face Mist. I really like to set my makeup with this as well. It leaves a really nice little finish. Definitely would recommend this. And there's some really great ingredients in that as well. This is actually an essence by Misha. Another Korean skincare. This is supposed to be like the dupe to SK2. This is actually intensive moist. I don't... I don't know about essences right now right now i'm just like really trying to streamline i don't want to throw on too many products but i did really like this i feel like it made my skin super soft i feel like it balanced my skin as well like i said i have combos i feel like all the parts of my skin that were dry actually felt plump and hydrated and then like the t-zone that's more oily i just it felt really balanced. I don't know, maybe it is something. Now that I'm talking about this, I'm like, would I repurchase this? For now, I just really want to streamline it and see how my skin reacts. So I won't buy it right now, but it was a really great product. And then the last little toner that I have, which I am so sorry. I mean, I have learned so much since I love this product. This is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. If you are an OG, you know, I always swore by this. I'm like, it is so hydrating. And this is me, like, moving from you using this is so long ago you guys when did i get introduced to this like maybe three years ago before that like maybe a year or two before i would use harsh like witch hazel obviously was very harsh on my skin so coming from that and going into this i'm like this is so hydrating oh my god it is so natural so beautiful the roses floating in here the thing is i didn't really pay attention to the ingredients i kind of trusted i mean it's called a deep hydration facial toner you could see the natural naturalness with the rose petals it is a strong rose scent 
I just thought it was coming from these petals. It's a very deceiving product because if you look at the ingredients, it does have a fragrance in it. So it's not super clean as it's claiming to be. And now that I smell it, I'm like, yeah, it smells like a hair mist, like fragrance that I put in my hair by Diptyque, which isn't great for dry skin. It isn't great for sensitive skin. And perhaps this has contributed to my skin being super sensitive now. I stopped using this. I think it's been a year, but I used it for like two years straight, day and night. <laughs> And just learning this past year, like how much fragrance this has, it was a very sad moment. So I'm so sorry to anybody that bought this because of me. I really did swear by it. I felt like it did leave my skin so soft. And I feel like it does have those immediate results. But in the long run, it's probably not the best. Not repurchasing this. I think I got to about here. And I saw Satchu. I can never say her name. Sarah Chu, I believe on YouTube, she's so cute. I saw a video of her talking about this and I'm like, are you serious? And I just literally dumped this out and I couldn't get everything because those rose petals were clogging the opening. It's like a very small opening. So we gotta figure out how to empty this so we can recycle her properly. Again, my apologies, you guys. We're always learning and growing as we go. I feel like every year there's new studies, new things that come out. So I like to stay on top of it. And that's a product that I won't be repurchasing or recommending. This is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. I really like this vitamin C so, so much. It has fer ferulic as well. And I feel like vitamin C with ferulic, it's just like such a power combo. I feel like it really does brighten up the skin. I really like the packaging on this but this one actually I didn't I wasn't able to finish before it expired you can see how much it oxidated by the color or like how dark it is so that's the thing with vitamin C products and this is an expensive product I mean if you buy like you know the full size one it's about I believe 80 or 90 dollars I do want to try other vitamin C serums so if you guys have any recommendations definitely leave them below I'm trying to look through some reviews but if you have any that you really like and have noticed a difference like as much as this one definitely let me know okay the next serum that I have here is another one that I would not recommend and I paid so much for this. This is the IS Clinical Active Serum. I was influenced for sure by seeing this so much on Into the Gloss, different people's top shelf. I saw it when I went to a med spa and I was like, ooh, let me, let me try it out. So it says, may temporarily produce a slight tingling sensation, which is definitely true. It felt almost burning on my skin and I still, I don't know why, but I was like, let me just use this without mixing any other products. Because of that like little burning sensation, I just didn't want to mix this with any like retinols or anything else because this had a natural form of like glycolic, a natural form of lactic acid, and a natural form of salicylic acid. Since I just bought it on the spot when I saw it, I never even looked up the ingredients or anything to see if it would even agree with my skin. And when I did look up the ingredients, I saw that it does have a pretty high high concentrate of alcohol like the drying alcohol that you don't want in your skincare so it sucks because this is like I think definitely over a hundred dollars I want to say like 130 or so yeah SD alcohol is at the top of the list and it is meant for like anti-aging for blemishes like this is what it's meant to do so it just sucks if people are trying to take care of blemish prone skin of wrinkles they are actually drying out their skin with this so i feel like it can really mess up your skin in the long run instantly what i noticed i was like oh wow my face feels really tight like this must be like helping with the wrinkles and everything but no it's just that drying alcohol in there that makes the product absorb into your skin right away so i would not recommend this and i'm so bummed that i didn't look up the ingredients prior because i did spend a pretty penny on this these marketing words and even just seeing so many different influencers or it wasn't even influencers it was just literally on into the gloss estheticians that i really look up to i never question those people as far as like for skincare advice and things so i'm just like why would they recommend this it, i feel like it is so harmful in the long run especially for aging <laughs> and for blemish prone skin because the drying of the alcohol is actually going to make your skin produce more oil which can you know cause breakouts so the next empty serum that I have is this guy by Caudalie. This is the Vino Perfect Serum. It's supposed to even your skin tone. It's supposed to fade 
you know, acne spots, like pigmentation, I should say, like PIH, if you have any. And I really feel like this did even my skin tone. I really love this product. It does have fragrance in it, so just be weary if you're super sensitive to it. But I personally never felt like it disrupted me in any way. Squalane is actually at the top of the list, so it's a super hydrating ingredient, which I love. I think that's what my skin really likes is that squalane. I personally really saw a difference when I used this, and it wasn't irritating at all to my skin, even though it does have some fragrance in there. I really wish it disclosed like how much percentage of fragrance and things are in each, but you know, we'll just have to kind of guess by testing on our skin and see how we react, I guess. But yeah, this really does boost so much radiance even the skin tone. It didn't completely f um, get rid of some of the hyperpigmentation that I have. I feel like mine is so stubborn, but uh, it did lighten them. I did see some lightening and just overall, yeah, I would have such a nice bright complexion. So definitely something that I want to pick up again. Another product from Drunk Elephant is the Sakor the Sakori, the Sakari Baby Facial. So this is a 25% AHA and 2% BHA. I didn't really like this product. I never did. It's again that like super tingling, burning sensation on your face. I really like stuff at a lower concentrate. Sometimes more isn't necessarily better for your skin and definitely not for my skin. Like I do have a damaged barrier just from when I was younger. I was super abrasive so it's something that I definitely have to keep in mind when using high percentages of exfoliants like this. 12% feels really good on my skin like their TLC. It's like a glycolic acid. It's a chemical exfoliant and it definitely brightens my skin. I see, you know, texture looking better everything so this is just at a too high of a percentage where i actually get like rough skin from it definitely not something that i would buy i think this actually came in a little kit and i was like let me just try it out you know a few times but i don't even know if i necessarily finished it another chemical exfoliant that i really like and i can recommend if you don't want to use the T drunk elephant tlc is the one by pharmacy it's called honeymoon glow that one is Top. I love it. I can't wait to get off my little skincare diet to use it. Yeah, I would definitely recommend that one. Another mask that I have here is the Pixie uh, Peel and Polish. This is another one that I would always recommend. I feel like my barrier was at a better point there and I just really like the price point on this. This is a chemical exfoliant because it does have some AHAs with like the papaya enzyme but it's also a physical exfoliant. So if you're gonna use this just be sure you don't have like sensitive skin or you don't have acne or like super blemish prone skin because I wouldn't recommend it for anybody that has acne, any kind of physical exfoliants. But this one is very fine and when you're using the scrub don't like super super scrub at your face like just go in tiny soft like circular motions and be gentle be gentle with it one that is very comforting that i love is the ren ever calm ultra comforting rescue mask i love the green this green ever calm line by ren they have you know moisturizers they have a balm that really helps to soothe your skin i feel like when you are kind of treating acne there's a lot of products out there that can be quite drying so this could be a great mask to kind of balance that. So I really like this whenever I felt like I over exfoliated my face. They have a mask that's called the glycolactic mask. So I would use that one and then I would always follow it up with this one just to, you know, comfort it after exfoliating it. I should buy this again, especially because my skin is going through it. So definitely a, a repurchaser, repurchaser. <laughs> Okay, we have one sunscreen that I finished. This is the Unseen Sunscreen. I know I didn't just finish this one. I know I finished another Super Goop one. This is one that I actually kept in here in the empty bag. And this is uh, SPF 40 water and sweat resistant. It goes on kind of like a primer. I more favor this in the summer. This is one that I would recommend if you have like maybe combo to oily skin. I feel like if you're dry, you probably won't like this. Finish that one. Again, you guys can check my highlights for the products that I finished while I was in Guadalajara because I did go through quite a few and then also I was like having trouble packing my luggage because I didn't want to pay the overweight cost. So I also was like, these are the products that I just got to leave behind because they're just not worth bringing back with me. So you can check that out as well on Instagram. I do have some hair care and body products. So we'll go through those super, super quickly. Just like a quick yes or no, because I know this video is already super long. 
The Necessaire body wash, yes, 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 absolutely yes. Would definitely repurchase. I already have one in the shower. Love Necessaire. The Billy Shave Cream, I have one in the shower. This one is really nice. If you are the type to always use a shave cream, would recommend. I sometimes don't use it. I feel like I shave so often that sometimes I just use water and my Billy Razor. The Billy Razor, I would definitely recommend. Um, it just gets delivered to your door. It's super fast and it's very, very affordable. This is really affordable too and it's like shaving with clouds. So yes, I would recommend, but I'm just like not a huge, huge shave cream girl myself. Verse, keep it supple body oil. If you want to up your body care game, I would definitely recommend using this. I would always purchase the Neutrogena sesame seed oil and this definitely replaced it. Yeah, there's not as much as the Neutrogena, so you go through it a lot more quickly, but I like the little spray that it pumps out and it just smells so, so nice. I feel like it smells better than the Neutrogena one. And then when I layer on perfume, it just, I don't know, it amplifies it, so really love this little baby and i also have a discount code i'm part of the verse team so any of the verse products anything on the verse website you can get 10 percent off using amy 10 just wanted to quickly shout that out for hair care i know i went through so many shampoo and conditioners i don't know definitely conditioners you know curly hair probs but one product that i have here or i have two hair products actually first is the finishing cream by way this is my favorite product from way hands down i already have another one back up it's just like the perfect i didn't use any today i should but it just kind of helps with the flyaways if i'm gonna sleek my hair back i like to use this especially if it's one of those like first day second day hair i like to go like four days without washing my hair so i don't want to apply like a gorilla um moco the gorilla gel to sleek my hair back i'll rather use this just so I can switch it up, the hairstyle, the next day if I want to. It's not gonna like make it flaky or anything. It's just so soft and it gives a really nice shine. Or if I'm gonna um, leave my hair down, I'll just like kind of add this through and it just helps with all the flyaways that I have. So I love this one. And then, no, we're just like not even gonna talk about the Brazilian blowout because we're not doing those right now. I'm so happy to be getting rid of all of this. Oh, my nephew just came. Okay, we're gonna super, super wrap this up because I wanna go play with him. All the products that I talked about are gonna be linked in the description box. And stay tuned for declutter makeup video. Well, actually, let me know. I already kind of started filming a little bit of it, but let me know if you guys like to see declutter videos still. I wanna do my makeup and that huge top shelf. I definitely need to do another little cleanse. Yeah. And then obviously, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we got a couch up in here. I can't wait to show you everything. I'm going to be redoing my room. So stay tuned for all of these like spring cleaning videos. I feel like because I wasn't here during COVID, I'm like late to the party. Everybody like did that at the beginning of quarantine, but you know, now is my turn. So thank you so much for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.